little over a year ago, I introduced you to Dustin Saucier, a musician from Bangor who has lived most of his life with diabetes. He urgently needed a kidney, a gift he will soon receive. She happened to see the, the story on, on the news, uh, your story, and was kind enough the next morning to, to, to reach out to the transplant clinic and start the evaluation process. After a year of tests here at the main transplant program at Maine Medical Center, Laura Dunn from Biddeford will give Dustin a whole new life. And really his story um, just really struck me and um, I just, I like, I liked who he was. Juan Palma is one of the doctors who performs transplant surgeries at Maine Medical Center. Like in Maine, we're very fortunate that uh, uh, about 10% of the donors that we have are, are what we call uh, Good Samaritans, basically people that they just come knock on our door. People like Laura, who end up changing one life of the 200 on the waiting list for a kidney here in Maine, less than half of whom get this gift of life. We need to check those patients from head to toes, be sure that, that their hearts are in good shape, that their lungs are in good shape, so they can tolerate the surgery. A surgery Dustin has been praying for. I just actually had a, a kidney function test done recently. It's supposed to be over 60% um, in order to be considered okay and normal. Uh, right now, my kidneys are functioning at about 6%. So I'm at the very end of my kidneys function right now. Surgery set for early next week. And I, I myself am an artist, I'm a visual artist, and uh, and my recent thought is that this will probably be my greatest artwork ever, <laughs> my greatest art piece. I'm forever indebted to her. Um, and, you know, I hope that post-transplant we'll be able to kind of forge a, forge a good relationship and, and maintain like a, a relationship in each other's lives. Yes. Maybe sharing a song now that Laura has shared a piece of herself. Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine.